My Work is your home base in Tempo Timesheets, where you can log your time on JIRA issues and even plan your time for the coming weeks. In this video, we're going to show you how to customize the issue lists in the Issue Side panel in My Work. This is where you can access your JIRA issues for logging time against them. Here we have John, who's a typical JIRA and Tempo user, and he wants to streamline the process of logging time to be as quick and efficient as possible. One way that he can do this is to customize his issue lists so that his current and most commonly used issues are always at his fingertips. The Issue Side panel is hidden by default, so he opens it by clicking the double arrow down here at the right. He sees all the issue lists here. In this case, his company's internal issues are displayed. He clicks these buttons at the top to switch to his watched and favorite issues. When he clicks the little button at this end, he sees that there are other issue lists that he can switch to. In this case, the recent and assigned issues. This is okay, but John refers to his assigned issues a lot, so he'd like to give it a button here so that it's easy for him to access it. To do this, he clicks this little gear icon up in the corner, and now he can configure the issue picker. The top three lists here are the ones that are mapped to the three buttons on the issue side panel. Instead of what's shown here, he wants these to be assigned, favorite, and internal. So he grabs the handle on the left and drags each one to be in the order that he wants. He can also choose JIRA projects to add their issues to this list. John's going to be working on the cloud project for a while, so he selects it and it gets added at the top of the list. He'll keep it here so that it gets a button in the panel. JIRA filters can also be added to the lists, so John selects the one for the Tango board. But then he decides to remove it by clicking the X beside its name. He's happy with this setup now and closes the panel. And he's got the three buttons for the issue lists that he wants to keep handy. Now John needs to set up his favorite list since there aren't too many issues here yet. He'll open the cloud list and add his main issues here as favorites by clicking the stars beside them. And then they show up as favorite issues in this list. When an issue is not his favorite anymore, he just clicks the star and it's removed from this list. From here, John can now find an issue and easily drag it onto his calendar. When he does this, the log time dialog opens up with the issue already filled in. And notice that the issue buttons here are the same as they are in the issue side panel. So any configuration changes you make there are used elsewhere in Tempo. John adds the number of hours that he worked, clicks log time, and the work log is created. The issue side panel also appears in the time view, which John opens by clicking the clock icon up here. And he can drag an issue to his calendar, and log time against this issue, the same as he did in the list view. And again, a work log is created. To close the issue side panel, he clicks the double arrow at the bottom again. So that's how you can customize your issue lists in my work to make logging time faster and more efficient. Thanks for watching, and make sure to check out the other videos for Tempo Timesheets for Cloud to learn how to get the most out of it.